conclude this episode this week, uh, I wanted to share one more thought with you from a talk given by Elder Robert S. Wood clear back in May of 2003 in a, a devotional at BYU-Idaho called Be Ye Transformed by the Renewal of Your Mind. In there, this is a talk that uh, Elder Clark Gilbert made us aware of and asked us to study, and it's an amazing talk because Elder Wood shares this experience of having this long list of questions that somebody thought were uh, problems with the Book of Mormon. And over many years, over even decades, he worked his way through this list finding answers to all of these problems that somebody had given to him for the Book of Mormon. And I believe he was like in his 50s when he finally found the answer to the last question on his list, and his conclusion was, what a difference it would have made if he had waited until he had had all those answers to then fully engage in his covenant discipleship uh, and moving forward in, in the gospel. And I would suggest to you that I don't think he would have ever found the answer to most of those questions had he disengaged with his discipleship. It's only by engaging with those things that we don't know that we can then draw greater strength from those things that we do know, and those foundations of testimony can get stronger and more firm, more steadfast and immovable as we don't run away from the things that we don't know. It's okay to be confused. It's okay to not have every gospel question answered right here, right now. It's okay to have to wrestle for months, years, even decades, with difficult, trying things in this gospel where you're confused and you don't know, you don't know what's right, if we keep going back to what we do know rather than putting all of the focus on what we are struggling to figure out, and that can then lead to doubts. So as we finish this episode today, it's our testimony that Jesus is the Christ the Son of the living God, he has the words of eternal life, but sometimes we don't know that language very well, and so we have to practice speaking the language of eternal life and learn it over time until we can become fluent enough to get all of those unclear, muddy, confusing elements of the gospel to where they all of a sudden make sense. We know that he lives, we know that he loves you, and we leave that with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.